Yannick Sinner versus Carlos Alcaraz is the final of the Six King Slam for 2024. And both guys have been super impressive this season. Alcaraz into the tournament as the number two in the world with a win-loss record of 51 wins and 10 losses for the season. His best win, of course, coming at Wimbledon with that straight sets performance against Djokovic. Of course, you can put the French Open as well, which was a great result as well. But I would say that that Wimbledon result was way more impressive, especially beating Djokovic in straight sets in a Grand Slam final. That doesn't happen very often. However, his best win actually came a couple of weeks ago, beating the world number one Yannick Sinner in the final of Beijing, which was a very close matchup. His worst loss actually came at the US Open, which was a couple of months ago now, losing to Van der Zandt, number 74 in the world at the time. Very unexpected result. His form has been really good, of course, making the Shanghai quarterfinals. He did lose to Mahatch in the end, who ended up having a pretty good run throughout that event. But of course, won Beijing, beating Medvedev and Sinner along the way, and also was the man at that Labor Cup. So since he's lost that Van der Zandt match, he's been in really, really good form. Sinner entered the tournament as the number one in the world with a 56 win, six loss record for the year, which beats his best ever season on tour. His best win is the Australian Open final. You can also say the US Open final, but we're going to pick the Australian Open final, winning his first Grand Slam, beating Medvedev in that final in five sets. However, his best win in the rankings was actually the match before that against Djokovic, who was number one in the world at the time in that Australian Open semifinal. His worst loss was against the number 12 in the world, City Pass, all the way back in Monte Carlo. So it just shows how great of a season he's having if your worst loss is against a guy who has been to Grand Slam finals and also has been in the top 10 for the most part of the last few years. And his form has been great winning Shanghai last week and of course winning the US Open and Cincinnati before that the only loss he's had recently was to Alcaraz in that Beijing final. These guys have played 10 times before with Alcaraz leading 6-4 in the head-to-head -head, of course just playing in Beijing. A couple of weeks ago with Alcaraz winning 7-6 in the third it was an absolute epic match. They also played an epic at the French Open in five sets every match they've actually played this year has gone the distance but Alcaraz has won all three so I'll be really interested to see on an indoor hard court which might favor Sinner if he can get some revenge. If Alcaraz is going to win this one. He needs to be a lot more aggressive than he was against Nadal. He was a little bit too safe against Rafa and maybe because he could be. He knew that Rafa wasn't the same guy that he'd played two years ago who had pushed him to the brink. Alcaraz is going to have to defend a lot more against Sinner than he did against Rafa in their match. If Sinner is going to win this one, he needs to make sure he can recover well after that Djokovic match. That Djokovic match was super intense and especially losing that second set tiebreak so badly, he's going to have to get off to a good start here, Sinner, and really push Alcaraz around, kind of surprise him in that first set if he can because of course Alcaraz is coming off a bit more of an easy match in the semifinals. What a great matchup. Even though it's an exhibition, it feels like this might still make some sort of relevance in this history and this rivalry, but I have to go with Sinner in three sets. I reckon Sinner on an indoor fast hard court might just favor him and his game, especially the one that he played against Djokovic and Medvedev has been so impressive. And I don't know, I think he might catch Alcaraz by surprise. Alcaraz did drop his level against Rafa because he didn't have to play as well, but let me know down in the comments below. Who's gonna win this title?